I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord. I never cease to be amazed at people who, in the circumstances of life, as they face grave difficulties in their own hearts, can't get their minds off heaven. I was just reminded recently about a young man who went home to heaven. His name is Dennis Thomas. I met Dennis in Manitoba, and Dennis Thomas was a remarkable brother. He had somehow, whether over the telephone or through mail or by personal visitation, contacted every person in the town where he lived with the gospel. He had multiple sclerosis and was confined to a wheelchair. I was in Manitoba. I was called up quite suddenly. It was about two o'clock in the morning and they said there's been a horrible accident and there's a brother Dennis Thomas that's been rushed to the hospital and they don't know whether he's going to live. Something horrible had happened. He had fallen down a set of stairs in his wheelchair and had been badly hurt and as they were rushing him to the hospital a gravel truck came through the intersection and hit the ambulance and broke just about every bone in his body. And then about 10 in the morning, they let us in. He could hardly speak, his face was swollen. I said, Dennis, brother, what are you thinking about right now? I'll never forget as he looked up into my face. He could hardly move his lips. He said, turn to Isaiah 63. There was a Bible there and I flipped over the pages and then he said, read verse 7. You know, I couldn't read it. I tried. But this is what it says. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord. According to all that the Lord has bestowed on us and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he hath bestowed on them according to his mercies, and according to the multitude of his loving kindness. Dear Christian, I don't know what you've been through, but I know there's only one person who will get us through to the finish line, and that's our blessed Lord. When you feel like giving up, says the apostle as he comes to the end of Hebrews, and you don't think you're going to make it, you look to Jesus, the author and finisher. The one who began well, finished well, and he's the one who has been given the responsibility of getting us home all the way. Ought we not to mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and his tender mercies, which he's shown toward us? Oh, how good is the God we adore. How wonderful our Savior.